These 442 tactics are no doubt of a lie broken in EAFC 24. Let's try something. Okay, here we go. Get into bots for cross. Get into bots for cross. Yeah, let's try that. That post crosses. We've got him on. Now, moving into the tactics, what I like about the 442 second variation is it reminds me of the 4231, but your striker is the cam in the 4231. So you can play one, two passes, both with the wingers and the midfielders, and there's a lot of triangle passing options with this formation. Now what you'll notice about the tactics that I'm gonna share with you is the instructions are the most important aspect of this formation and these tactics. But when it comes to how you wanna set the tactics up. It's balanced for defensive style. I teach you guys how to mainly defend on this channel. None of you should be automatically defending with the AI. Width is 50 and that's standard because I find the formation is wide enough. You don't need any more width. Depth is 44 and that's simply to the fact that any depth over 45 will activate the AI to press the opponent off the pitch. And as I told you guys in the defending tutorial, it's super important that you don't press high up and you don't leave gaps in the defense. You keep your players in their positions and you keep a tight structure. If you have this over 45, this will fragment your defense and leave too many gaps and holes. Build up play is balanced. I think you guys know already if you watch the channel that it's important that we are building up with a fast but not rushed tempo. Balanced allows us to do that, but when it comes to direct passing, that's what I have it set for this formation. That's because, as I said at the start, it's a great formation for your triangle style passing because there are a lot of triangles with this formation. And with direct passing, the players are offering for the ball to set up these triangles. When it comes to the width, it's on 50, which is standard. Players in the bots are on six, three and three. You'll notice this will never change, ever, ever change for me, these three settings. But when it comes to the instructions, this is significant because as you saw live on stream, what I have done is set my two wingers on get into the bots for a cross. That's because I'm sure you guys have already figured this out. Bat post crosses are the most broken way of scoring goals in AFC 24. They are unstoppable. No matter whether it's from a short corner and then you drive the ball out towards the 18 yard bots to cross it in or whether you're just on the wing and you're crossing to the opposite attacker. It reminds me of FIFA 19 and I think Bat post crosses are going to be the next thing that EA patches. But for now, they're very, very overpowered and very effective. And I find the 442 best utilizes this way of scoring goals. That is, bat post crosses. But in terms of the two strikers, you're going to have your quicker striker on getting behind, giving you more running options, and then you're gonna have the other one on balanced. The reason why I have an alternate between these two is because you'll notice that on the left side, I can play a bit different. I can play a bit more direct and hit the striker's feet. Whereas on the right side, I can play more in behind and play the striker through a little bit, a lot of the time, which means you can mitts up the way you attack on either side. And that's the best thing about having two strikers on two different attacking run settings. When it comes to the two wingers, nothing has changed except for that, getting to the bots for a cross. And then when it comes to Modric and to Shimani, they're both on stay back and cover center. Okay, that's significant, so you have a solid defense. You don't want your CDMs getting forward this year for the reasons that I outlined at the start. Balde and Molina are on balanced, and that's simply because overlapping runs are very important this year. It gives you a lot more attacking prowess, and I find when they're on balanced, they don't necessarily get forward enough that you're gonna be susceptible to a counter attack. As long as you can defend a decent amount, then you won't have trouble with the wing bats being on balanced. Those are the instructions. I'm currently using this in Division Rivals, and when I say I haven't lost yet, I mean it. I haven't lost yet in Division Rivals with this formation and with these tactics. So they do work, and you guys can thank me later when it comes to bad post crosses. 
That was thing at the end of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I am coaching one on one. If you want personalized coaching from me as well as access to exclusive content where I reveal things that I don't reveal on YouTube, check it out. The link is down below. But I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios salam ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys. So thank you.